I just want to say, I never realized how important the prayer of that song would be. That little prayer just kind of came at you there. It says, Lord, be my joy and my treasure and my delight. I never knew how important that was until I started to feel like, you know what, we're all treasuring something. We all want something more than anything else. And the problem that I've seen in my heart is when I want other things more than I want him, those are all things that one day I'm going to lose. And so it's almost like I'm setting myself up for failure. I want those things so bad and God's saying, man, those things aren't eternal anyway. And don't you know that everything you love about that thing, it's really just an echo. It's really just a dim reflection of who I am. Every gift was meant to be a mirror pointing us back to the source. Did you know that? And, and when we get that wrong, then when things go wrong, instead of saying, God, what can I learn from this? How can I see you in this? We shake our fists at it. And we say, how dare you? How dare you? I've been following you. How come I haven't seen redemption win? How come this struggle feels like it's never going to end? How come this hurt is never going to end? How come this sickness is never going to end? How come this job loss is never going to end? How come this divorce is never going to end? How come this political cycle is never going to end? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> we all feel like that. Man. We've been feeling like that lately, to be honest. We've been kind of saying, God, where are you? Because... On Christmas Day, Jeff, our guitarist, his sister-in-law fell down and fainted. She, she's only 35. She's got three kids. And she falls down and faints. They do a couple tests. And a couple weeks later, we find out she's got stage four cancer. And we're going, God, this girl, Ferris, I mean, she's amazing. She's such a good mom. And we're tempted to say, God, how could you let such bad things happen to such a good person? We were struggling with this, even over Easter. And you know what I felt like God said to me on Good Friday? He kind of just tapped me on the shoulder. He said, yo, Mike, what day is it? It's hump day. Mike, 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 Mike. No, he said. <laughs> I love that commercial with the camel. It's so stupid. <laughs> My tour manager, he always comes through on Wednesday. He's like, Mike, 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 hump day. Like, okay, Tim. I felt like the Lord tapped me on the shoulder and he said, hey, what day is it? And I said, it's Good Friday. And he said, why do you call this day good? Because you've been complaining to me that I've let something bad happen to a good person. Good Friday was the day that I let the worst things happen to the best person. But the reason you can call that good is because you knew what was going to happen three days later. See, Mike, you've been looking at the Easter story from the future. And so now you can look back and say, oh, God was up to something. But make no mistake, Mike, Good Friday was the worst Friday until Sunday. And here's what I know. I've talked to enough of you all across the country that I know that there are people here that you are in the middle of your worst Friday. And you feel like it is never going to end. You feel like redemption is never going to win. You feel like you are stuck in the middle and God has left you high and dry. You know what I thought this last Easter? I never had this thought before. But you notice that God stayed dead on Saturday? I've always thought, Jesus, why didn't you just rise on Saturday? Why make everybody wait? And then I thought this last Easter, it kind of jumped off the pages at me. Maybe God was saying, hey, see how the disciples are running? See how they've lost all hope? See how Saturday felt like the worst day in the world and they felt like it was never going to end? See, you're not the only one who's felt that way. But wait just a little longer. Hold on just a little bit longer. And before you know it, even your worst Fridays will turn into good Fridays. If you just wait till Sunday, you give God enough time and he can make even the cross 
something beautiful. So we're talking, how can we make something beautiful out of this situation with Jeff's sister? I mean, she's already gone through chemo. She's, her hair's falling out. And we said, let's write her a song. And the thing we wanted to leave her with wasn't this certainty that God was going to heal her. Although I, we've been praying that God's going to work something miracle because we've seen him do miracles and we are expecting him to do something crazy. And the thing is, I want a faith that not only believes God is going to do a miracle, I want a faith that believes God's good even when I'm waiting for the miracle. And so we said, what could we tell her? What's the hope? What is the hope that we could tell her right now? And so we started thinking, what's the best news of the whole Bible? What's the best news? Is the best news that your sickness is going to be healed? No. That's pretty good. Is the best news that all your sins are forgiven? No. That's pretty good. You see, the best news of the Bible isn't anything that's going to happen to us. The best news of the Bible is that we're going to be healed and forgiven so that we can finally stand in his presence forever. And we're going to be able to enjoy that treasure like never before. No more muddy glass. No more dim reflection. We're going to have like Windex. Just, it's just going to wipe it clear and we're going to see him face to face. And not only that, but remember what the angel said to Mary? He said, you're going to have a baby. And Mary's like, say what? <laughs> you know how this whole baby thing works, angel? He said, you're going to have a baby. And his name will be Emmanuel, which means God with us. You're going to walk out those doors after this concert, and I don't know what waits for you. I don't know what struggle you're gonna go through. I don't know what you'll have to walk through, but one thing I'm certain of is that you will never have to walk through it alone. And that's the news we wanted to tell Ferris, so we wrote a song. Is it cool if we try it out on you guys tonight? It's called, I Have This Hope. Mm -hmm.